Welcome back to the video question bank series. This is the series where you get high yield practice questions to help train your brain to recognize the patterns that you need to recognize on test day. Let's get right into today's question. A 24 year old male is brought to the emergency department by his roommate due to unusual behavior. For the past 72 hours, the patient has become increasingly paranoid, claiming that quote, the FBI is following me and that quote, microchips are implanted in my food. The patient has not been sleeping and has been talking to himself loudly. He has no past psychiatric history. His roommate mentions that he has been spending time with a new group of friends lately and staying out all night. On exam, the patient is agitated, pacing, and responding to internal stimuli. Vital signs reveal a temperature of 37.0 Celsius, or 98.6 Fahrenheit, a heart rate of 112, a blood pressure of 142 over 86, and a respiratory rate of 20. His pupils are dilated and reactive to light. A urine toxicology screen is pending. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A. Brief psychotic disorder. B. Schizophreniform disorder. C. Schizophrenia. D. Substance-induced psychotic disorder. Or E. Delusional disorder. Pause the video if you want some time to think. And let's talk about the correct answer. The correct answer to this question is choice D, substance-induced psychotic disorder. Now this is a pretty common test question where the test writer is going to force you to determine are you dealing with symptoms that are psychiatric or are you dealing with symptoms that are substance-induced or maybe due to a medical condition or a neurological condition. So on your exam, there are a couple things to keep in mind. Look at the vignette here. I bolded in red the two most important things for getting this question right. For all psychiatric questions, you want to look at the timeline of the symptoms. So I bolded that this is for the past 72 hours. In addition, what pushes you in the direction of this not being a psychiatric issue is that they tell you he has been spending time with a new group of friends lately and staying out all night. And what that implies is that the patient is doing something socially, behaviorally, that is leading to these symptoms. And so if the test writer gives you a sentence like this, and again, this is very common for them to write something along these lines, tell you that the patient either has some occupation, some hobby, right? They're doing something, and that something is on the short term, right? Last 72 hours, and now they have what looks like psych psychiatric symptoms. So although this question is telling you the patient is psychotic, you need to recognize that that's not due to schizophrenia, schizophreniform, brief psychotic or delusional disorder, but rather, presumably because this patient is doing some type of psychostimulant drug, this is substance-induced psychosis. Now I did give you that the patient was tachycardic, had a slightly increased blood pressure, and that pupils were dilated. That suggests that you're dealing with something substance related. It does, of course doesn't guarantee that. So that in combination with patients out all night presumably doing drugs and these symptoms are only lasting for 72 hours, that should push you in the direction of this being substance induced. Now on your exam, typically this will be either due to cocaine, methamphetamine or PCP use. Sometimes the test writer will tell you that the patient is having tactile hallucinations, meaning that they are feeling things on their body that are not really there. Tactile hallucinations tend to strongly be associated with stimulant use, but I didn't put that in this question because I didn't want to make it more obvious than I think it already is. But let's look at the timeline. So let's say for a second you didn't know that this was substance-induced psychotic disorder. Is it possible to rule out other potential answer choices? And when it comes to answering questions in the topic of psychiatry, you want to pay attention to the timeline. So this couldn't possibly be answer choices B, C, or E. E would be that the patient is only having a fixed delusion and nothing else. We can rule that out because we can see clearly here that the patient isn't just delusional, but he's also presumably hallucinating. So E is eliminated. Schizophrenia for the timeline has to be six or more months of symptoms. And we can see here that this is only 72 hours. Likewise, schizophreniform disorder is one to six months, one to six months. So we can rule that out. So we're pretty much choosing between answer choice A, brief psychotic disorder, which is up to one month of a primary psychiatric issue, 
versus choice D, substance-induced psychotic disorder. And because, again, we know that the patient is likely using drugs, there's some social risk factor here that points us in the direction of answer choice D. So big takeaway again, on your exam, be ready to answer questions that look like it's a psychiatry question, but it's going to make you pick out that it's actually substance-induced or neurologic or medical and not actually one of your DSM diagnoses in psychiatry. Good luck.